cheater pull. Hey guys, quick break in the action. Just wanted to let you know that we're going to be doing a sweet giveaway. Watch till the end of the video to see what we're giving away and how to get in it. We actually just barely made it to our elk unit here in Colorado and never been here before, so not sure what to expect, but anyways, we're just trying to get to learn the unit, drive around, check out some good areas, look for sign, look for tracks, listen for bugles. Didn't hear a single bugle this morning, um, but just got to this new area and I saw some tracks and some rubs and stuff like that, but process of elimination and yeah, anyways, welcome to the elk hunt and hopefully we get into some action. All right, so we got our first bull spotted. Looks like a pretty solid six. He's got a pile of cows with him, a few satellites. He's got a frame on him though. He's a big mature bull. He might have little fists, I can't tell. Well, we just spotted that group of elk in the same spot as last night. We're gonna bomb down here on the road and hit the trailhead, and we're gonna start working our way up there. We're planning on the wind switching, so we're gonna probably have to wrap around the bowl and come in from above them, but we're also assuming that those elk are gonna move down the basin a little bit. Hopefully we can get in on this bowl and put an arrow through. I think he's just a five. He might be a little six. All right, on the way down to the trailhead, we actually, Nicole just spotted another big group of elk. And it looks like there's at least two bulls in it. Can't tell if he, he's a decent bull. Yeah. Is he a shooter? There's three bulls in there. One's tiny, tiny. Alright, just gonna get the phone scope on these bulls and get some footage and see what they are. We just found another group of elk. This group is giant. There's a couple solid bulls in this group. What are you thinking? He's tall. There's a lot of antler on his head. Big beams. I think the best bull is right in the middle. Just starting to walk right now in front of the green stuff. Ready to go? Yep. All right, we're gonna ease over this ridge to where we last saw this giant group of elk. And hopefully we can glass them up or catch them or hear them talking. They were screaming their heads off this morning, so. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do. We're going to go in silent, try to get eyes on them, and then just kind of play it from there. So, yeah, that's the plan. we got about a mile uphill to go, and we should be in a good spot if they're still in the area. I'm going to go slam a six. Nicole's going to kill that big six that was running the herd, and then I'm going to double up on the next six that walks in, and then we're going to die trying to pack them all. <laughs> Let's try to get one down yeah, for sure. Let's stick with one for now. Just in case anybody asks about my arrows, I have four of these different ones. They shoot my fixed broadheads really well, so I have those in there. Then I have two of these that have my other kind of broadheads on that shoot those really well. I'm sighted in for all arrows, they're all shooting the same, so it looks a little funny, but. We have a good setup. We got fixed blades on all but two arrows, so we're good to go. It's not that far. And down below us, the wind's blowing up. 
Alright guys, it's morning number three. We found another solid bull. This is the bull from the first night. I uh, just put the phone scope on him. As you can see, he's just a pretty solid bull. Got a good frame on him. Definitely a shooter with a bow here. He's in a pretty decent spot, but if he keeps going, he's gonna be um, off the unit. So hopefully he'll stay put, but I'm just gonna kinda watch him and see what he does. It is morning number three, and we got up a little bit late this morning, but still were able to glass up our bigger bull that we had found a couple mornings ago. And he actually crossed over off the unit. So we saw a couple other bulls and we're kind of just going in blind basically right now. Gonna do a little hike and do some locator bugles and see if we can get anything to answer us back. I'm excited to see what today brings. They have a wallow, see that? A wallow option. I'm gonna mark that, hit save, and we're good to go. The more we can learn and mark up these maps, the better our chances are of future success in here. So this is a brand new unit to us. We've never been here before. Stuff like this is pretty priceless to find, so. Anyways, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna gain some elevation because the thermals have switched and are blowing up the mountain now, so we don't want everything above us to smell us. We saw some bulls go into the tree maybe like a mile to our south, so we're gonna try to get above them and 
See if we can get one to respawn if he's acting fired up or not. So he sure smells like elk right here. Oh yeah, you can smell him big time. It looks like some elk were probably in here this morning. We just barely found out that our camera has not been recording audio for two weeks. So our last two hunts, we've lost a lot of our best footage. Yesterday, all those elk encounters, we were in elk for six hours, basically all day after that, on and off, gone, all filmed on this camera. The audio did not work for some reason. The mic was malfunctioning. One of the best days of elk hunting I've ever had before. Such a bummer after all that effort, time we spent to try to capture it. But we'll try to make it work the best we can and get better stuff from here on out. We need some better luck anyways, so. All right, guys. Got the big bull found that we chased the other day with Nicole that we couldn't get to come in. It's a big six. He's got all the cows. Looks like he's bugling again, which is good. We went all day yesterday without hearing a single, well I heard one beagle last night and that was it. Morning of day four, we spotted that big bull again this morning and same spot as last time, same spot where I, where we got into the middle of them and got him within 40 yards basically all day and he just hung up, wouldn't come in, but today um, we have a little bit of a different strategy, we just barely got to the trailhead and we're hiking in but there's already two other trucks in that have beat us so they're definitely going to be on the same group of elk which is very problematic but we're going to get started on the other side today and kind of anticipate them being bumped so that's the plan need a little luck he's a stud bull by far the best we've seen sure that those other hunters uh, blew out that group of elk. We looked at our Onyx maps and because it didn't go out the way he went out the other day so we looked at our Onyx maps and found two canyons that are most likely that they dropped down into. There's actually a trail right below them so we're gonna regroup but then we're gonna get on that trail and hike in and See if we can hear him or get him to respond. So that's the update. It's the weekend, public land. 
So, people everywhere. But that's hunting. Just keep going. See if we can turn him back up or something else. We had our house pulled up on the GPS and we were headed out of here. We were heading home and I actually got a text from somebody that I met on the mountain that has a sheep tag and he's been kind of giving us elk updates and we've been trying to give him sheep updates but we haven't found any sheep so. But anyways, we were driving and just about to hit the highway and some texts rolled in saying, hey, we found your bull that you've been chasing. He's over here and which is, really awesome by the way um so we obviously switched course anyways can't get there in the truck because it's not a truck road and we're gonna take the bikes in and hopefully the bulls will still be talking he said two big herds merged together including the big bull we've been chasing so we're gonna hop on the bikes and get going Nobody's here, so I think we have the bull to ourselves if he's still here. Uh, we just got the bikes locked up to the tree, got in here silently. So we're gonna go up a little bit farther and let out a locator bugle so we can see exactly where they're at. And then once we have them pegged, we're gonna go in quiet and get right up in his grill within as close as we can, see if we can call the sucker in and get him killed. So. We were almost, we were supposed to be heading home right now, so thank goodness for friends on the mountain that hooked it up and told us where he was at today because we didn't see him on the other side where he was supposed to be. So keep you guys updated with the action and let's do this.
Let me set this down. He didn't actually have a cheater. <laughs> no cheater. Yeah, I don't see any cheaters. 
I don't see a cheater either, but that's all right. Yeah, he definitely doesn't have a cheater. I must have been pretty excited or saw this thing, but we freaking got him. Look at that shot. What do you think? I'm pretty stoked. That was awesome. It's heck of a lot better than going home with tag soup. We were leaving today. It was a very slow morning, super hot day. No beagles anywhere. It's very discouraging and it's the weekend and there's just been people everywhere. It's been freaking tough hunting, but managed to get within about 150 yards of the group silently and got set up and kind of just called our way into the timber. We did three different stands in the timber. What's that? more did another one went in 150 more did another one and that's when everything lit up because we were right in their grill so there's more people lying right down here so we're gonna mark him and come back for him in about an hour he'll be fine yeah here that he's right there we're gonna try to get a double and we're gonna go set up again and start calling and see if we can call in the big bull this time so let's go see if we can get another one We got them all loaded up. Skylar's pack. He's got two big bags of boned out meat, and that's me. I have one big long bag of deboned out meat, and Skylar broke him in half, manhandling. Manhandling him around. Snapped his skull plate right in half. After I already saw the skull plate. Yeah, we were skull capping him and moving him around and it just snapped in half, but I guess it makes it easier to pack him around. <laughs> is it that heavy? It is. <laughs> then how heavy is mine going to be? Loaded down. All right, we just made it back to the trailhead. Took a lot longer than we thought. We got stuck in the bottom in some tall willows and really had a hard time getting around, but we finally made it. We're beat. It's freaking heavy, heavy loads. We got the whole elk out in one load, deboned it while getting all of the meat. And we're back to our Baku bikes. These things are gonna be packing out their first elk. So we'll see how it goes. All right, well, we just got back and we're putting the meat in these saddle bags. Got one bag in there. Got one bag in. Oh. All the meat on the Skylar's bike. Those saddlebags are the only way to pack meat. My center of gravity was too high when we set the meat bag right on top. But these saddlebags, freaking money. Thanks for watching the video. Really hope you liked it. So just more about this giveaway that I mentioned earlier. We will be giving away five custom phone scope kits. It'll be custom to your phone and your spotting scope. For those of you that don't know what phone scope is, um, basically you saw it in the video. You get an adapter for your case, goes on your spotting scope, and you can film anything up to, 
I mean, we film stuff miles away. So this is what we use to capture most of our footage. It's unreal, it's something you shouldn't go into the woods without. Also giving away a handful of, of elite Onyx Hunt memberships. Uh, this will give you access to everything. I mean, offline maps, public land, private land, um, open roads, open trails, hunt unit boundaries, basically anything. It's a must have. We don't go anywhere without our Onyx. We basically live on that app. So um, you'll be entered for that as well. We have four to five elk hunts coming up and we'll be running this giveaway through all of those videos. So all you have to do to enter is to be subscribed to our channel and to comment on this video. So that's all you gotta do, super simple. Make sure you tune in for the next videos because they're gonna be awesome.